Hi there YouTube, this is Daniel back again with another YouTube video. Um, this time it's one of those uh, in-stock trades haul videos, uh, but I added some books that I picked up from my local comic shop, an all online retailer here, and some of those trading groups on Facebook. Uh, so in total I have uh, 13 books I think. Uh, I counted correctly um, and this time I also decided to try uh, a couple of mangas uh, I've never read the manga before and there uh, and I can't think of a reason for not reading a, a manga but uh, I decided to try two different uh, titles uh, and the first one is I'm a hero omnibus volume 1 by Dark Horse uh, they translate and reprint them I guess um, I have read this, uh, went quite fast, uh, I enjoyed it um, and I will probably get volume 2 uh, soon, uh, I'm not sure when but I will pick up uh, volume 2 at least because uh, I do want to know what they do with this because it's really different from other zombie mangas or a zombie series that I've read so far uh, which is nice. And the other manga I picked up was Blan, volume 1 of the Master Edition uh, by Tsutomu Nihei. Uh, I'm probably butchering that name, but um, I saw uh, another YouTuber pick this up uh, a while back. Uh, kind of looked interesting to me. Um, that YouTuber is Samuel Treo. Uh, probably didn't pronounce his name correctly but yeah uh, I picked it up because it looked cool I have no idea what the story is gonna be about and I picked it up when after I saw the anime uh, movie on Netflix as well yeah here is some of the art uh, from the series and uh, then I decided to pick up three trade paperbacks uh, this time around um, and the first one is the Unworthy Thor, a miniseries from Marvel. Um, I heard so many good things about it when it was released in single issues, so I decided to wait for um, the trade paperback when I couldn't get a hold of the first two issues. Uh, I was a bit late on it. Um, and I heard Blackpool and JT loved it, or liked it at least. Uh, they are from with the channel The Comic Board. I'll probably link it down below in the description if you want to check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really fun to read this to see what the fuss is about. <laughs> and then I decided to get a couple of trades to finish off a series uh, that I started a while back with Black Widow Volume 2, uh, written by Nathan Edmondson and Phil no uh, Toe on art. Um, the artwork is really awesome, uh, I really do like that. And then the story is fun to read, so hopefully they'll continue that in this uh, volume and uh, the third volume as well. Here's some of the artwork I was talking about. And the rest of the books are omnibuses, uh, a bunch of them. Um, and the first one of those are oh, is uh, Daredevil Volume 1 by Ed Brubaker and Michael Lark. Uh, I read Brian Michael Bendis' run in trade paperbacks uh, and loved it. So I wanted to see how Ed Brubaker follows that run up. And I hear this is as good as uh, the first one. Um, and I couldn't stay away from this uh, volume one when it was uh, reprinted, uh, now in an omnibus form. And I decided to get volume two as well. So now I have the complete Ed Brubaker run uh, on the character. And now I just need the reprint for Brian Michael Bendis run as well. <laughs> and here is some of the artwork for uh, by Michael Lark on the series. Marvel decided to have a spring filled with good releases and it was really difficult to keep up uh, but 
They also released Daredevil by Mark Wade and a bunch of different artists, among them uh, Rivera, Marcus Martin, and Chris Samney. Um, and the cover by Michael, Michael Orwell isn't the best I've seen. <laughs> they could have used some of, some of the covers or one of the covers for the series uh, as it's been released. But yeah, I really like how different it is from uh, Brian Michael Bendit's run uh, with a fresh new take on it. Uh, so it's gonna be fun to s conclude the first half of the uh, Wade run uh, with this and uh, soon get the next installment in the early next year, I guess. A while back, I went ahead and got uh, War of Kings, the omnibus. Uh, and once I did that, uh, I knew that I needed to get uh, the Road to War Kings omnibus to get the first, uh, the lead up to the story. Um, and there's different artists involved um, and different writers involved. But this con collects uh, Son of M 1 through 6, um, X Men Deadly Genesis 1 through 6. Silent War 1 through 6, Secret Invasion in Humans uh, 1 through 4, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Abnett and Lanning story 1 through 12, Nova from 2007, number 13 to 22, and Nova, the origin of Richard Rider and War of Kings saga. Uh, so there's a lot of different titles uh, collected into this one. Uh, and I know I have to sell my uh, Guardians of the Galaxy book uh, soon. And to finish the whole uh, War of Kings saga, the Realm of King omnibus. And that one collects uh, Realm of Kings number one, uh, Realm of Kings in Humans one through five, uh, Realm of Kings Imperial Guard one through five, yeah, yada yada yada. A lot of different book, uh, titles in here as well. And we do get Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Abnett and Lang, number 20, 25. So that kind of sums up the whole uh, Abnett and Lang omnibus. Um, so I have the whole saga in three uh, omnibuses now. And I have the Annihilation Conquest as well. Uh, we'll see if I get Annihilation one day or not. Three more books to show you. And uh, the first one of these three that I decided to pick up, uh, mostly because I got a good deal for it, and that's Captain America. I think this is the first one. Uh, I hear it's the first one. <laughs> I'm not invested at all with the Captain America, uh, other than the movies that I've seen. It's written by a brewmaker. It's uh, praised by everyone, I guess, and uh, drawn by Steve Epting uh, with Mike Perkins. <laughs> uh, it's not in a great shape, uh, that's why I got it kind of cheap, uh, or not overpriced, and um, maybe I could just uh, get a new dust jacket for it, uh, if it's possible, and print, it, print a new one out uh, somehow, uh, that will make it look better, I guess. Uh, but. Yeah, it's readable, uh, it doesn't fall apart. The artwork, however, looks really awesome in this series. Uh, hopefully I won't spoil anything, uh, I haven't looked. <laughs> but that's some of the art. And the second to last book I have to show you is one of those um, mini whales uh, that's been avoiding me, <laughs> eluding me uh, on Facebook. And now I did, however, manage to find it and uh, not above cover price, including shipping. So I paid about cover, including shipping, and that's the Immortal Iron Fist with uh, Ed Brubaker, Matt Fraction, and David Aja. Uh, I am really happy to have this, which kind of starts me off on a the Defenders uh, collection now with each individual character. Maybe we'll see a the Defender 
uh, omnibus in the future uh, from the w series from way back, but I don't won't hold my breath for that. <laughs> Uh, this is really cool, and here is some of the artwork in the series. And so, uh, the last book I have to show you is a book that I've been looking for ever since I understood what it was. Uh, and after watching the TV series on Netflix, uh, Jessica Jones, I just had to get this uh, Alias Omnibus by, by Michael Bendis and Michael Gatiss. Uh, it's just that it was really difficult to find it because I was too late. Uh, even though it was the second printing, uh, I was way too late to try to pick it up. Um, but I found it on one of those trading groups, uh, the Omnibus Collector group, I think it's called. Um, and I managed to find it without paying too much, uh, including shipping, uh, not over cover at least, uh, which makes me happy. And before I uh, end this video, uh, I want to show you this uh, Marvel, all, all new, all different Marvel reading chronology uh, that I got with my in stock trade package, uh, which I like. Uh, it helped me to know where to go when I want to start a series, uh, which volume, which number one volume I should pick and where to go uh, without losing too much of the story uh, since some of the stories kind of tie into each other. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the pickups I made this time around, uh, if you have any suggestions for books to pick up in the future, just leave my comment down below uh, and I'll get back, back to you as soon as I can. Um, until next time, happy reading out there and see you around. Bye bye.